Yo! <laughs> well, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this might not be the intro intro, but for the part that I'm about, about to film, this is the intro. So if you just saw an intro, then let's get right into it. If you didn't, then hey, what's up? I'm Mike, uh, this is my channel, and I upload a lot of videos, so if you like to watch shit when you're bored, hit the subscribe button, and if you don't like to watch shit when you're bored, then I don't know how you found this video or why you're watching it, but you probably have better things to do, so you shouldn't. But if you do care for some odd reason and you want to see this video, enjoy! And if you're new here, subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a comment afterwards, and I'll give you a shout out towards the end of this video, so um, yeah. Pretty simple, pretty stupid shit, and uh, yeah, subscribing's free, so like, it's like, I don't know why you wouldn't do it, because like, you could just undo it if you don't want to be subscribed, but like, you can make me feel better about myself by hitting the subscribe button, and like, hey, I mean, it's like, you know, it's good karma for you, you know, you, you'll feel better about yourself by making me feel better about myself, so, if you want to feel better about yourself, hit the subscribe button, because that's what I'm here to do, is make you feel better and make myself feel better, so, without further ado, let's get into the video, today, is a story about now my life got flipped turned upside down and my brother did not come home from school a lot of you guys probably got misdirected by the title because it's probably a little on the clickbait side but it is a very real story that i'm gonna tell so um yeah if you guys like to hear stories then welcome aboard if you don't like to hear stories then dislike this video and tell me to go fuck myself in the comments anyway right into the video let's get into this gem so this was about a few years ago when i first moved to this town that I now live in that is very unknown but you guys might know it because I filmed here a lot so yeah this was about like the first or second year that we were living in this town I had just finished eighth grade and graduated and we moved to this new town Tyler was in middle school or something like that he's about three years younger than me so he was in middle school um, in like sixth grade or something and I was like a freshman in high school or something like that so he's pretty young and I was pretty young and um, I used to get home before him and then he would get home he would take the bus we both took buses and and uh, we would just come right home. If we were gonna go anywhere else, we'd text mom or text he'd text me, let me know. And uh, you know, it'd be like pretty easy, pretty simple. I mean, just common stuff. If you're gonna go somewhere, you let people know that you're going somewhere. That way people aren't worried about where you are. So I got home early and I was like chilling on my computer. I had a computer set up at the time, PC set up, you know, I was, I was in that game and shit. So I wasn't really concerned about what my brother was up to. I didn't really give a shit. I was just concerned about what I was doing because I was being selfish. And I think I still am kind of selfish so like hey screw it you know what i mean but the apple doesn't roll when it lands you know what i mean so i'm like i'm the same guy that i was then you know what i'm saying like i'm an asshole anyway um yeah so haven't changed much for some reason um i just wasn't worried you know he didn't come home when he was supposed to and usually he always comes home at the same time right and we're new to this town we don't really know much about it we don't know much about the area that much we just know it's like a decently safe place to grow up in but yeah um so i was home and uh i remember my mom texting me like hey did tyler come home from school today and I was like no he's not here right now and so like she's at work which is over an hour away so she has like no really like pull when she's not home you know what I mean like she can't really just like stop in see where he's at you know what I mean like he she can't do that because she's so far and I'm, I'm like the only person and I'm just like this like moron that you know is sitting here playing Minecraft or some stupid shit and just not giving a shit right and I'm like hey, hey you know what's good I'm curious I'm, just gonna... I'm sure he's fine and uh my brother is just nowhere to be found he's not answering his phone not answering phone phone calls, not answering texts. He's just absent, completely gone. And at this point, you know, we're starting to get worried and we don't know what to do. We're calling him, texting him, texting people that we know, texting neighbors, texting everybody, texting people that were on his bus, asking if they saw him walk home. And a lot of people were just saying like, no, we haven't seen Tyler. We don't know where Tyler's at. So like my conclusion is maybe he was walking home from the bus stop, which is like all the way that way. And they need to walk through our complex. And we usually took a shortcut through this like little park right here. And my conclusion was maybe someone grabbed him at the park you know abducted him in broad daylight you know or like you know misdirected him said hey man this is a video about you being missing from school and then like it's just a story time video you know what i mean like a misdirection like that so you know maybe he got taken in thought there was free candy in the bus or in the in the, in the van hopped in the van and see you later t-man you know what i mean but uh yeah so that was my conclusion and like for some reason i just wasn't worried you know like i i think i deal with things differently than other people do i'm definitely one of those people that like doesn't care in the moment and only cares when the truth when the reality sets in of it so like um i haven't really had a lot of loss to deal with in my life thank god 
you know, um, some people have, and I'm, you know, sympathetic for those people. But at the same time, I don't know what that loss feels like. So it's hard for me to sympathize 100% or really truly understand the emotions behind, you know, someone becoming abducted. So if this video is offensive to you, it's because I have not actually dealt with any real loss in my life. So um, to all the people who have dealt with something like that or something very like close or, or you know, just anything around that area that I might offend with this video, I just wanted to say sorry. Um, I'm just kind of inconsiderate when I'm making jokes and stuff about a serious event. But yeah, um, back to the story, you know, I was chilling on Facebook or doing God knows what, and I wasn't really stressed. I was just messaging a couple people, just seeing what people were saying. I just had this feeling that he was fine, you know? Like, I didn't really have this, like, whole, like, oh my God, like, I'm gonna lose my brother today, like, if I don't find him right now, you know? Like, I wasn't stressed about it. I was just kind of, like, like, lax. I was just chill about it. I was like, you know, if he doesn't come home, he's probably, like, busting a nut. Obviously, that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking, like, you know, he's probably, like, doing some stupid shit, like, just not coming home. Maybe his phone died. Who knows? You know, I'm just thinking of, like, the most positive thoughts to avoid the reality that things could be actually worse than they are, which, uh, I'm not sure if that's the better thing to do or the worst thing to do, but, uh, that's just how I cope with serious events sometimes. And, uh, yeah, so my mom was freaking out, and at this point in time, you know, it's, like, 7 p.m., like, the the sun's about to be setting. Tyler's still nowhere to be found. Um, and we're just worrying, you know, freaking out. My mom's calling me and she's saying all this shit. And like, I'm just like pretty chill on the phone. I'm just like, yeah, like I, he's not, he's not home. Like I don't, I don't really know what to do. So um, my mom called the police and told her that her son was missing you know and so there's a police report found the police show up i'm the only one home my mom's not even here i gotta like kind of explain the situation and they're just like okay like we'll, we'll bring the dogs out and so dogs came literally this man this man t-man the main man had dogs searching for this fool right and like we're just kind of stressing at this point like you know like one of one of the dogs don't pick up a scent like one if he never even got off the bus like one if he's still at school or one if one if he got nabbed right from the bus stop, bus stop you know type shit so they bring the dogs out and the dogs are sniffing around looking for tyler and they're you know picking up on scents but they're just like you know it's like not really anything's coming from it you know like we didn't find him at this point in time then at about i think eight o'clock at night uh tyler finally answers his phone and says that he's at a friend's house and like at this point in time like the cops are like the fuck and like we're like the fuck like where have you been this entire time like there's literally dogs looking for you and you just don't call you don't want to let anybody know that you're all right. Like you don't want to text or call. And like, we're just sitting here having dogs sniffing around the whole entire town for your lazy ass who didn't want to text back. Like I know like he was like a youngin and everything, but like Tyler to this day is still like shy and like doesn't really tell people what he's up to type shit. He's just kind of like chilling all the time. But I guess like he just didn't really see a big deal and like not letting anybody know that he's all right, even though he's like six years old at this point. Like he's not six, but mentally probably, I don't know. Like uh, you have to be at least like three years old to like not know that it's like a normal thing to answer a phone call when your phone's being exploded a thousand times, you know what I mean? Cause like three-year-olds, they barely know what phones are. I mean, in this in this day and age, I feel like a lot of three-year-olds probably go on YouTube and shit and like probably watch these videos. So like, hey, shout out to you if you nine, you know what I'm saying, am nine. But uh, yeah, that was my story time, kind of lame. I feel like it's, I should have gone more in detail. I'm just pretty bad at telling stories when like I jump to the conclusion before I even get to like the first detail of the story. So uh, I don't really feel like refilming this. So yeah, uh, I might just add some vlog clips of t-man at this modern day and age uh doing some t-man things which might have been before this and this could be the outro so if this is the outro i'm kind of just all over the place you know what i mean i don't even know how to be a youtuber like i don't know why i do this and that number that you see like below my like you know right next to my name this is one million three hundred and forty something thousand like i guess this video right here and the other videos that i've been posting recently are the reason that that number has not moved in the past year so like if you guys want to see that number move hit the subscribe button but like also comment and like go watch my old videos and like let me know like why I have a million subs and like how I should like continue to grow and like make content because like I'm honestly confused like I don't know why I have a million subs and I don't know how to make content that is deserving of that subscriber count so yeah um this is basically a PSA it's basically saying uh go buy a cell phone and use it also buy some merchandise link in the description down below if you like merchandise if you want to wear a sweatshirt that says only shit I speak facts um because facts right like fuck it anyway um i hope you got a kick out of this video or at least like a punch or maybe like you know maybe you got just like a flick or like a tickle in your tummy or something i don't know maybe you have to shit yourself after this video i 
I hope you don't have to shit yourself after seeing my face for 10 minutes and 43 seconds because that would make me kind of uncomfortable. But yeah, I mean, maybe this content is kind of trash so you just digest it really fast like Taco Bell. And then I kind of understand. So if you didn't fuck with this video, drop a dislike. Let me know how shitty I am of a person in the comments down below. And don't forget to tell me to go fuck myself and uh, potentially send me a death threat because those are always great to read. I love those. Um, and that's about it for this video. So if you fucked with it hard, you know, take both your fingers and shove them just as hard as you can on the like button and, uh, you know, just blast it or whatever you got to do. I, I don't know. Just throw your head into your screen. Like I, that I usually, I heard that helps with like headache, headaches and shit, which this video might've also given you, uh, headaches, diarrhea. Those are common side effects of watching shitty content. Um, but yeah, I guess this is just a really, really depressing video because it's bad. Not because it's like a sad story, but just because the video's trash. And I just feel like I've been talking for 12 minutes now, but like, I just feel like I haven't really said anything. Like I've just been saying shit, but I haven't said a single thing. So yeah, that's it. I'm out. Today's shout out goes to this person. Subscribe, turn on post notifications and that thing and, and leave a like and, and, and the comment that you did it. And I'll give you a shout out like the guy that's on the screen, which I don't know his name because I'm that bad of a YouTuber that I didn't even read the name. I'm just gonna figure it out when I'm editing this shit and probably cutting off, out like most of it. This video might only be like 30 seconds long. Hey, fuck it. Let's just make it 10 seconds long. Yo, what's up YouTube? This is the story about how my brother went missing. Turns out he didn't come up from school and uh, we found him. Dope, I'm out of this bitch. Surprise.